say uh I feel a little bit of a jack today it's like when you have time in between appointments and you just want to get out and I'm close to the mountain and I wouldn't say this is like the glorious most glorious place ever it's like old road as you can see that's no longer a road Due to weathering and whatnot, but wanting to be by yourself doesn't constitute not wanting to be with others. You have to uh, know you and what makes you you, happy or sad, and different or you can be placed into the cog of the world and participate. So I'd say it's one of those times. I don't know. I usually play music, but I may not have anything. So to give a location where this is, it's, it's, it's a road that runs along like a stream that goes into a ravine. So you're going downhill and me and my brother Ryan, we usually hike down and there's a platform which used to be like a log cabin foundation. We'll do work out there. The sucky thing is you gotta hump uphill all the way back. and. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? People are having fun in the water behind me. I would, sort of, I would describe that situation with the adolescents in the reading as cliff jumps and bowls. But when I am walking this, I can't. It's funny because I like, have a camera in my hand and I, I need to put the camera away because since this road is withered away, you can't really have a camera in your hand, look into the camera and walk. Watch. I want to live. You can see right here that the road used to go straight but it's fallen in so you gotta walk around the whole way <laughs> just minor stuff but you could turn dead you know? when I look up at the cliff I'm like I'm at the rocks mercy because this big old thing it's all timing what keeps you alive is timing See all the roads that probably took hours and hours and days and months and years to put down and I see <laughs> no matter how much of a marble or a mini marble things can be mother nature with fire 
even weeds or fallen tree can take what she wants back. It's just very interesting. Little stuff that I think about when I walk. And all I can hear in the background is just the water crashing up against rocks. It's a nice natural soundtrack. And of course you're gonna find remnants of humans, even on rocks. I'm almost down to the bottom of the ravine, but this is like a part that, not the prettiest. Actually, it's not pretty at all. It's actually pretty uh, end of the world-ish, apocalyptical type of end of the world. And it's all burnt because there was a fire and stuff. And every time I walk past this with me and my boy Ryan, I always think of like the walking dead and like we have our backpacks and waters and <laughs> it just has an eerie feeling. It's just to see destruction. Because this used to be a full road from right here all the way to the other side is a full road. And vegetation is taking it over and I'm waiting for a zombie to punch out. And yes, this was once a road, a paved road. <laughs> right here. And this is about two feet of clearance. This is constructed by a nice human. Why? I have no idea. No matter where I go, I always seem to find graffiti. Can't tell you why. Just always do. I, I see all these natural colors of the wilderness, and all of a sudden I see bright yellow. It caught my attention. Now I've hiked through here multiple times and I've never looked to the right through a little hole and known there was stuff back here. It's the first time and or this should maybe just this paint looks new. Maybe uh it was just here. Graffiti is vandalism, and what's uh, crazy is like by reading, I don't know these people, whoever hit up all this area, but by reading the walls, I've noticed that uh, there's like a lot of like tribute pieces that are like giving tribute to an individual named Fungi, and a bunch of like RIP and there's an area this one right here says don't go over because it's an original it looks like something older probably that they or he did back in the day and it's like ironic graffiti artists are asking not to go over something they did the contrast of that I guess you know it's a little dedication area to a friend who obviously passed. Fungi, wherever you are now, your family left you a pretty cool tribute that I stumbled upon. I caught your vibes. If you're remembered, you can live forever. You're on your way. Very small from the road. 
that I just saw that little piece. So lesson learned, if you see color, go towards it. You might learn something. This trail keeps going, but this is usually where I stop off, where there's a found old foundation, and it's where we go to, to where we would like do our workout. It's flat and peaceful, bugs, but kind of gritty. It makes you feel oof, tough, I don't know what it is. I will not be getting out of that slide. <laughs> or, sorry, swing. I ain't no expert, but I'm sure this was the fireplace. And this is the platform or foundation that I do my workouts on. <laughs> and yes, we use that boulder and that boulder for squats and deadlifts and all the other stuff. And I just put them back over here because I know ain't nobody going to move them. Me of all people understand what busy is. But time can be stretched if it's utilized. I mean, 10 minutes can seem like an eternity if you use it properly. But to turn off the noise, I'm a music guy and I didn't even use any music but it just elevates the brain waves the birds trying to tell me something oh, well so it makes anxiety and worry and fear in the world it's like peace isn't gonna just volunteer and put their hand up gotta like go get her Go find peace. And if you keep doing the same stuff <laughs> that doesn't give you peace, you're not it's not gonna turn into peace. <laughs> Lipstick on a pig, <laughs> fake peace. Uh. And don't make anybody else responsible for yours either. So probably just gonna sit here. And listen see what else the wilderness tells me but I gotta get out of here because the sun's over the ridge it's gonna get dark here quick so. Josh who knows what I'm talking about <laughs> if they find this camera